Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm sitting here in my brand new rental flat in Innsbruck in Austria where me and my partner Olaf just recently moved in. In this series I want to bring you guys along as I transform this flat into our new home by upcycling and DIYing furniture, decoration and art. In today's episode I'm gonna start with our home office. And in this room we will spend a lot of our time, so I want it to be as functional but also as pretty as possible. And the most important furniture piece in this room is of course the desk and this is what I'm gonna build today. This is how the room looks now and on this wall here I want to build a full wall length desk. To save money and also to be a bit more sustainable, I want to use an old desk that I found on an online second hand platform for only 35 euro and reuse all its parts for the new desk. So it comes with two cabinets, but to support a 4 meter tabletop I need a third one. And this I want to build out of the leftover pieces, meaning the old tabletop and the little support piece that was on the back side of the desk. Plus some spare wood I had laying around and two new boards that I bought. So that's the plan at least and let's see if I can pull this off. After I picked up the desk I gave it a good deep clean. And because I didn't like the wood optic on it I wanted to prepare it for painting so I gave it some sanding with a high grit sandpaper and another deep clean to get rid of all the dust from sanding. I bought white chalk paint for the cabinets. But because I was a bit afraid that the paint could not be enough for all the pieces, I gave the old tabletop a coat with some white primer that I had left over from an older project. The chalk paint I use is from Rust-Oleum and is in the color chalk white. I used this one because it was the only chalk paint available in my local hardware store. To be as paint saving as possible, I only painted the parts of the cabinets that will be seen later. So this was the easy part, but now it's time to build the new cabinet. To create the two side walls, I cut the old tabletop in half with my newly purchased jigsaw. Yes, I was nervous and it didn't turn out mega perfect, but I was still quite proud and ended up with two pieces as planned. The cut edges I flipped to the back so it also didn't matter that the cut wasn't the smoothest. Then I used this small board which originally supported the back part of the old desk to connect the side walls. Next thing I needed to add was the bottom floor of the box. For that I purchased a 60x60 cm melamine white panel which is basically a laminated pressed wood board. After attaching the bottom with some metal connectors, I needed to add legs to make the cabinet the same height as its two siblings. For that I cut four pieces of a 6x4 cm piece of wood that I had laying around and attached those with some metal angles on each side. As this furniture piece will never be moved around and will have a lot of pressure coming from the top, I think those angles should be enough. I filled up all the old holes with some wood filler and let it dry overnight. Then I drilled new holes and put in those shelf plugs for the shelf floor to lay on. So this is the final piece after I gave everything a coat with the same white paint I used for the other two. So this was the hardest part. But I tackled it and I'm really proud of it that the box is sturdy and it looks exactly how I wanted it to be. And my next mission was the new tabletop. So I figured that my best option was this really pretty wood optic kitchen worktop that came in exactly 4 meters as I needed it. The only problem I had with this was the depth of the top as it was only available in 60 centimeters depth. But what I wanted were at least 80 centimeters. So I had the idea of extending the worktop with another wooden plank. 
and because I couldn't get the same wood optic, I went with two spruce blanks that were 20 centimeters deep and two meters long. Then I drilled in two holes for the computer cords to go through later and whitewashed them. For that I used the rest of the paint I had and mixed it with water by a ratio of one part paint and four parts water and gave the boards about three coats. After they were completely dry I added two layers of clear matte wood varnish to make the planks more durable. Because the planks are a lot thinner than the worktop I built these extensions that I screwed onto the main tabletop that hold and elevate the planks to level them with the tabletop. To connect the two tabletop pieces I used two metal connectors. I taped them with some painter's tape into place so I could use both my hands for screwing. And to keep the tabletop from sliding, I also attached the tabletop with some metal angles to all the cabinets. I didn't like the handles on the cabinets, because they were just really cheap plasticky ones, so I swapped those out for some black metal ones that I ordered from an Austrian manufacturer, which was actually not more expensive than to order it from some other big online sellers. And if I can, I really like to support local businesses. I chose black to be the accent color because all our computer stuff and printer is black too, so it ties everything together and makes it feel belong together. And just like that I built myself a full wall length desk. I'm so excited because it turned out much better than I hoped it would and if a plan works out as you want it, it's just the most rewarding feeling ever. So now it's time to do some final touches. The big print is from an artist in London called Ink Ong Print that we bought when we lived there. And the small print is from Ira Will, an artist that inspires me a lot. And this art print she did for a fundraise called Earth Draw. I'm gonna link both in the description box for you. So let's quickly have a look at what we started with. And this is how everything turned out. Again, I'm so happy with the result and I can't wait to sit at my new desk to get creative. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!